My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a nose slide. The nose slide is a really good basic trick to master because there's a lot of other tricks that will help you learn. So for the foot position on the nose slide, you have it in the same position as you would for a regular ollie, except for your front foot, you can put a little bit closer to the nose, almost over the front bolts, but you want it close to the nose so that when you pop, you can put it right on the nose and get into the nose slide position. So the thing about nose slides is that you have to get into it correctly and you can't like be too far cocked to one side or back to the other, but you have to pop right into it perfectly in order to slide correctly. It's kind of like a front side 180 and you should definitely have your front side 180s down before you get into this trick. And as long as you get the aim right onto the bench, you won't have too much problem. Okay, so you're gonna approach the bench at a pretty straight angle perpendicular to it at about two feet away. Then you're gonna pop and you're gonna slide your front foot up just in the regular ollie position and just like you're doing a front side 180. And then as you slide your front foot up, it's gonna gradually go onto the nose of the board. And then you're gonna put your nose of the board onto the object and just stand with all of your weight on your nose. You shouldn't have any weight on your back foot really at all. Because if you do, then your board's gonna like dip down and you're not gonna be sliding correctly. You want all your weight right on the top so that your nose is sliding on the ledge properly. Now when you're coming off, it's a good thing that you dip down a little bit and pop out, but when you're first learning it, you're just going to be turning your body back into the regular position. I recommend learning this trick out to regular first before you start going to fakie, because it's just a little bit easier and you're landing regular, so that's easier as well. I'll make it to fakie tutorial too, so that will be coming up. But yeah, for the first timers in the beginning, you just want to pop out regular. Just go back to straight. So here, let's take a look at this super slow frame by frame. So I approach the object. You can see my front foot is right over my front wheels and my back foot is right there perched on the tail just like I would for any kind of ollie or front side 180 variation. So one thing that's good with this trick is that you have to keep your eyes, you have to watch right on the ledge and look where you want your nose to land. That's one trick that I think will help you guys get into the nose slide better. So here we go. So you pop, slide your front foot up, and begin to bring your back foot forward. Overall you want to get your board into the 90 position. 90 meaning half of a 180. And you want to land with your nose perfectly right on top. And again, you're gonna have all of your weight onto your front foot. So you're literally gonna be standing on your front foot and just sliding across the object. When you start out doing this trick, you can just start out going at the object super, super slow and just getting practice popping up and landing with your nose on the ledge. And then once you get really comfortable at that, you can start taking more and more speed. And this is kind of one of those tricks that you can take a lot of speed because your nose is sliding, but if you're comfortable with popping into the nose slide correctly, then you're not gonna have any problem. You can just go as fast as you want and just fly through your nose slides. This is kind of one of those tricks that you can slide a really long ways, so it's really, really fun. I also like the nose slide because it's easy to do variations out of it. I'll be doing some more nose slide variation tutorials as well. So here we go, as I pop out, you notice that my back truck dipped down a little bit and then I just pull it up, almost like a little nolly. And that just gives me the momentum to just pop out properly. I didn't really pop too high in this one, I more just slid off the ledge. But you can see that now I'm going back and bringing my shoulders and my legs back into the regular riding position. So you don't want to turn your shoulders too much, otherwise you're going to go to fakie, but you want to turn pop, turn your shoulders just enough to make your legs go into the 90 position until you land on the ledge. 
slide as far as you want, and then you're gonna bring your back foot back, and then just land straight and roll away. A couple things that can go wrong with this trick is if you slide too far forward, like you do more than a 90, and if it's a bench like this, your wheel can go underneath and you'll stop. If it's not a bench like this and it's just a ledge and you're leaning too far forward, you'll stop as well. So leaning too far forward, you'll stop. Leaning too far back, you'll flip out. So you don't want to do that either. So yeah, learn the no slide well. Like I said, there's a lot of different variations that you can do with the trick and it's just a lot of fun. So just get it down. If you're trying to master your grind and slide tricks, I highly, highly recommend getting Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 3. It covers a ton of grind and slide tricks, and it's super, super detailed, and it will definitely help you progress in your skating. Thanks a lot for all of your guys' help and support, and click the red annotation to check out Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 3.